All right, can everyone hear me okay? If you can just uh, say a little something in the chat to make sure that you can hear me okay and everything, that would be awesome. I can hear you. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so um, my name is Wiley Brazier Fifth, and welcome to this specific session. Uh, we're gonna go right to it real quick. I am Wiley Brazier the Fifth, this is me. Still having a little technical difficulty with my camera here, but that is a picture of me. I am a Google Innovator, member of the NYC uh, 19 cohort uh, this past October here. And, and uh, these are a few of my certifications. I'm serving as your Louisiana GEG leader, so I'd like to definitely welcome you to this specific session and today we have uh, uh, today we are launching a google innovation uh, i'm sorry google educator group for louisiana so we want to make so we definitely want to thank you for your time and making sure that you are here and participating that is awesome and then um, this is our website. If you are not familiar with the website, please take time to go over and um, to go over and learn more about the Google Education Group of Louisiana. We have our Facebook group. We also have our Twitter account that is linked there, and the Google Education Group, the Google Group as well. Today we have an awesome presenter here who is Bonnie Shalat. This session today is all about uh, go beyond and virtual field trips and more. And Bonnie is, uh, I'll let her introduce herself. I will say that she is also a Google innovator as well. And she is serving as one of our uh, captains here for the Google Education Group of Louisiana. Um, Bonnie, you are what uh, cohort for Innovator? Oh, Singapore. Singapore, yes. Singapore, Judy, uh, Judy is here. Um, she's in the Singapore cohort. Awesome, awesome. So, Bonnie, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make you the host. So then right. now you should be able to share your screen. All right, I am ready. All right, um, I know as the A19, yeah, Judy's here. Um, so I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna go ahead and get started uh, about some virtual field trips. If you wanna access this presentation, you can go to this short link later. I'm, uh, I'm not going to go in this order that I'm supposed to go um, that I have listed because I want to talk about some other things that I normally don't get to because they're at the end. Um, I do this present. I've done this presentation a lot and I really think that Google has offered some really crazy things now that we've gone to distance learning. So it's updating very quickly. Um, I want everybody though to download the Google Arts and Culture app soon as you have free time. Um, they've got some really cool stuff they have. So you can do this from any tablet or phone. Um, it, the app looks different than the site and there are things you can't do on the site. Like if you look right here, you can take an art selfie and then it'll find the, the piece of art that matches you the most. Um, mine is not flattering, but I went ahead and posted it anyway. So you all need to do that. Um, they also have got some cool stuff like turn everything around you in our art. They've got a lot of stuff about Vermeer. Um, it's just fun. Like I know we're all on our phones way too much right now. So, um, and let me know if it's, it's not showing up or something. I, I live in the middle of nowhere, but, um, you really, really, there's some fun stuff. And so if you've got a kid at home, if you've got iPads in your classroom, um, this, the app does a lot of fun things. So the site looks a little different. Um, this is the arts and culture site. And um, I think most of you are teachers in here. I think something that's really been neat is they have, um, and I'm trying to keep up with the chat, but 
they've made, they added a Google Classroom button. So now if I look up Picasso or anything like that, and I'm, I'm covering that in my class, I go up to the top. Um, I clearly looked up women's suffrage already. So I've had Picasso. They have it, a whole gallery here. Then I can visit all of these museums. Then they have stories. Now they have a favorite button, so I can keep it all together like Pinterest. I can put a direct, I can send a direct link, and now it's connected to Google Classroom. Um, so I can just select my class and post it straight from there. I'm, I, I like that a lot. I think it's fun. I know a lot of times we don't get to do stuff like that because um, we have standards to cover, but I really think you can include it in some fun ways. I really like the Google Classroom button. I recently talked to about um, making a gallery and how you can share it. So if like I'm going over Van Gogh, I find some pictures that I like. Um, I can go in, favorite them. Um, my internet's kind of slow, but self-portrait. I can favorite it, and then it'll go up here to my favorites, and I can share that out. And there are science things. Uh, I know Miss Rhodes is here. She's a science teacher. She can create that gallery just by hitting a button. So create a gallery of all these images you like, share it out in Google Classroom. That's my arts and culture spiel. I really like it. Look into it. And like I said, um, my Google Home just heard me and is now responding. Hey, Google, stop. Sorry. It hears me talking about Google. Um, so it, they have a lot of curated things. Uh, American democracy, if I have social studies people, you could assign this and use it all year. Um, it's got all the, these uh, primary documents articles you could read about presidential pets. I have a daughter. We've got, already got two books on presidential pets. Um, kids really like to know about the Secret Service. So these are all things you can assign to read. They've got um, virtual tours of all, like almost all of the president's homes. So you can go to Mount Vernon, um, you go to the White House, and then they have other exhibits you can share that you can all push out to your Google Classroom straight from this site. Um, so I just think it's a really, really neat thing. Now you can visit Mount Vernon um, and it's, a, you know, and then I can just share that really rapidly with all my students. I've, um, and if you haven't done this one, it's super fun. You can move around. Um, I'm going to go on from there, but Google Arts and Culture, great. Another new addition I think um, Google really, really hit the mark with is Google Poly. Um, Google Poly is um, if you ever done if you ever done Google Expeditions, it requires the app. So the site is just poly.google.com. If you're fancy enough and you have a tilt brush or any kind of thing you can create VR with, you can upload it here. But a lot of the Google Expeditions that um, maybe you don't have access to a whole set of goggles or something like that. I know um, some of the teachers on here we do it in your class. It's super fun, but you can see right here, now you can do that VR through a link. So if you, even if you don't have access um, to a, um, this is the most fun the study of Battle of Hastings is going to get to, um, and I'm a history person, but now you can, you can share these out with just a click of a button before, and all the expeditions aren't available yet. Um, before you had to have the devices, you had to, uh, you know, or you could do it on a tablet, but now you can assign it this way where, um, like I said, and now it's free as opposed to having to um, have the devices, which is still cool. Um, and it's just become a really cool thing. Like this afternoon, I was talking about starfish um, to some kids. And so I pulled this up. We were making like clay starfish. And like I said, people can make, you can make 3D things and upload them. So if you pull it up, um, you can move it around. I'm sure there are science and math concepts in here. Google Poly. Um, so I can see I can move it. I can let's see what it looks like over here. Um, and all kinds of things um, that you could share out very quickly um, to your Google Classroom. And this, I mean, I feel like this would be engaging if in a digital platform. So, um, you, like I said, if you are fancy, I am not there yet, but um, if you are ready to upload 
the 3D items you can, but I still have that share button. Um, I can copy the link and it'll take my students directly here. So Google Poly is, um, it can get a little wild though. Like um, it's got its user base, people can upload. Um, so sometimes I wouldn't suggest like trying to do things on the fly all the time, but you never know. But like here, you can see all this crazy stuff, um, things that have, kids have done. In the future, I would like to have kids build things out and so I could show them how. So if um, if you know anybody that like is, is, is starting to do this kind of thing, please, please, please let me know because I want to see it in action. But I think the thing that I like the most is now uh, whenever I train people on Google Expeditions, they're like, oh, well, what if I don't have $5,000 worth of equipment? Now you can do that Egypt VR um, straight from here. Now, anybody have any questions? If I'm going too fast, let me know. Um, I'm right. keeping up with the chat and I don't currently see oh, good, good, any, good. Uh, questions. I did see that uh, Amanda did say that uh, James McCrary uh, yeah. is your guy for Expedition. Yes, he is. Are. He's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes, Amanda, he definitely yeah. is. Yeah, I agree, agree, agree. Um, so yeah, I know, I know, uh, James McCrary, I've, I've talked to him a bunch of times. Um, we need to be besties. We're just kind of busy, but we, um, we talked the other day and we we're always like, we're going to get together. Um, but yeah, I'm, t uh, but if anybody's building out things like using tilt brush and stuff, I want to know about it. Um, this is a scene I know I've done in some of the, the people of their class that are in here. Um, if you've got that class, you've done one of hand devices too. Now you can do it this way. So on that note, I'm going to go back um, and I'm kind of going to get back to traditional sites I talk about that are really neat. Um, and feel free to make a copy of this. And, you know, if you want to share it, I shared a short version of it when the quarantine started. Um, but feel free, like I said, if you want to copy this slide and send it out to your classroom, that's why I put the big arrows, uh, not to be obnoxious, but just to let people know I had linked things there if I'm not given this presentation. Um, this is not copyrighted. By all means, uh, feel free to take it. Um, so on uh, Google Trex, Google Trex is growing. They've got a lot of stuff um, and it is like a very fluid um, and in includes everything. So Egypt travel, you know, back in time. Uh, it integrates like Google Earth um, Google Street View, all these things into one place. Um, so you can have students, it's got like your facts, you can have them make infogram, uh, some graphs on it, um, all these details. I mean, I know kids like the pyramids, it's not hard to make the pyramids fun, but it is really neat to, to get them to engage with this site. Um, and like I said, you can do the street view, um, you can like walk towards the pyramids. Um, it's definitely one of those moments where you're like, this is what it looks like when um when you actually go it's you know in the middle of the desert um so this is a really really good one i would definitely look into google treks um you know first no, i know social studies there's a lot to it um and i i'm a social studies person so i tend to like want to talk about those things but these are google treks this one is amazing um this you know i know they talk about in sixth grade and in high school, um, when they do like world geography, it's got sound, don't believe my sound, it's gonna um, come to you guys. But it's really, really neat. And not something that kids see a lot. You know, I, right. I don't know um, how often, you know, you get to talk about Petra, so. Bonnie, can you double check yeah. that you're sharing your screen? Yeah. Cause I'm just looking right now. I see you on the screen. Okay. And it could just be me. No, it says share screen. Can everybody else? I'll try it again, but all right. Um, I'm back. There it is. Okay. There it is. Right. Great, great, great. All right. So Google sorry. Treks. Google Treks. 
Yeah, I don't know where I left off. Um, That's where like, you were. Wait. Okay, yeah. Google Tracks right here. Um, definitely, like I said, I really like this one for a lot of social studies things. Um, but if you, you know, if you can tie in like the Great Barrier Reef, um, I talked to some kids about that today when we were doing our starfish. Um, and this one uses Google Maps. One of the things, though, when you're using like Google Maps, Google Earth, um, when you're zooming in on the street view, it takes a lot of bandwidth. So um, just check. Like if you do have a desktop lab, a lot of times when I tell people, um, you know, when I'm talking about Google, um, this one's really neat, um, like Google Earth, when I get there, um, it's just really like, it'll just really suck up your bandwidth. So that being said, I want to take a look at Voyager. And I know they kind of all sound um, similar, but Google Voyager is cool. It's going to it's going to incorporate Google Earth. And I really think they worked with teachers on some of these because I feel like some of these are built out like with definitely with classrooms in mind. Um, if they cover standards, they cover facts that would uh, that are generally tested. But like I said, you can see Google Earth takes a little longer to load than your other topics. Um, and I um, and so definitely, though, like, the, um, if anybody, is anybody in the Carmen San Diego? Did anybody like, that's just me? Or is that everybody? Not everybody loved geography when they were a kid. Um, my daughter, they, they've revamped it. So it's got a Netflix show and some books. And they have done the cutest little um, matching activities. Is that my, my Lewis and Clark thing takes a while to load. Um, and I have all these tabs up. But anybody have any questions? I know I go kind of fast sometimes. I'm looking at the chat. I don't see any, but while you're mentioning Carmen San Diego, I was actually a Where's Waldo fan. Oh, yeah. Carmen San Diego. Um, well, they, cool they redid too. Carmen San. Maybe they can include him. So, um, on the Google Earth, like you see, it, it'll zoom into specific places. It'll show you like the route they took. So, if you're doing any kind of geography, um, you can drag it and follow the exact rack they took there and took back. And then it is really neat because it zooms you all the way out and like shows the earth. Um, I did an oceans one too, I can show you. Um, and my science people, um, you can do, there's one about volcanoes. Um, and so if you just look up like Google Earth volcanoes, it'll come up. Um, But it shows all the volcanoes in the whole world. Um, a thousand years of volcanoes. So that's the best one. And I'm going to let that load. Um, so I talked about Voyager. I talked about Trek. Um, I talked about Polly. And then another one um, that's completely like i said user-based like people are um uploading their own is google experiments and this definitely is the and more category of my uh title of my presentation because um they do a whole lot with like ai and trying to get um like like i said like um like innovators make projects and they submit them here there's a whole section just that dedicated to the arts and culture. So there's a lot of crossover. Um, some of them are like app-based, um, I don't think it's close, like a lot of tech, but um, some of them are app-based. Some of them are like Chromebook-based. It's some really neat ones um, that are that just work on uh, devices. So one I really like is the, um, the art freefall and the, um, the, the art map. Um, I'm not always like, and I wanna know an example of somebody that uses it like in, not in ancillary, I can get my art teachers to do this, um, but I don't always have success with my, uh, like my social studies people that are super nervous. But um, so I know a fast internet connection. But um, this is loading too, and some of these do. They take a 
ton of bandwidth. Um, I always try to get in the labs just because that day that you're trying to do something like this is the day like everything is gonna uh, shut down. Um, but this one, there's one called Semiconductor. If you've got a device, you need to download it. It won't work on the browser, but it's so much fun. The kids like get up and they do like this and it, um, they, they conduct and uh, it'll play music based on which way they're facing or if they turn their body. Um, it's got all these different um, little like people on there. Definitely, definitely try that with a Chromebook. Um, I've done it before with a class. I did it with a um, webcam hooked up at the top of the active board and everybody loved it. So here's my Carmen San Diego stuff. Um, some of you like Allie and Nikki, I completely expect to look this up on Netflix and play with this. But um, so you go through and it'll ask like questions. Um, and I'm not going to read it all to you, but like it follows the little plot and the Netflix video and the book. There's a little like, um, you know, young, uh, young lit book about it. So you have to zoom in and like find places and interview people. And then you have to figure out where she's going next based on the clues given. So like I fly into Moscow, it's going to give me, it's going to tell me what it is. Um, and it always talks about, it, it has very easily searchable things that you're looking for. So like if I go to the Kremlin, it's going to zoom me in. And they have these for all kinds of different topics, but they are very fun. Um, it'll zoom me in, show the Kremlin, and then get like I have, like it's a little clue and I figure out um, the exchange rate for um and things like that so it's easy for them to fix this is fun for little kids um my daughter does it and she loves it um so it is a little fun and it's it's an easy way like this is something you could totally totally send out in a google classroom like for distance learning that would be fun wouldn't require too much on the parent end you could share that direct link um and they have like a lot of voyager there's a button right here the little wheel and it'll take you to all the different Voyagers. And that's just, can, that can easily push out to a Google Classroom. I like the Carmen San Diego and some of these because um, they have like an assessment built in. But when you go to Voyager, there's a whole education section. Um, like with math and geometry, they really had teachers work on this. Um, like geometry of castles, um, really 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 look into this education section and this is something um I can't sh you can't share like just the education tab because I would like to like just send people to that um but you can you know you could share this and say click the uh exit um the education tab and they've got all kinds of things but they also have quizzes like um I think they showed right here like there are things where you could you could assign a quiz on food origins using this. It's not going to report back to your Google Classroom or anything. You might have to have a form that corresponds, but it is fun to like have those kinds of like, you know, engaging um, interactive things that our kids are like really used to. Um, I, but like I said, ed the education tab here on Google Voyager, tons of stuff. And I think they do the best job of incorporating like, you can see like triangles, geometry. I think they do a really great job of incorporating those standards and they must have worked with teachers on this Bonnie, um, because they really yes. there's a question that came up excuse me that came up uh, that's applicable here uh, okay. and the question is Google Tour Builder and Google yeah. Earth Voyager which yeah. one do you find more useful to teach language language classes for K-12 students well it'd be really It'd be really hard, and I'm going to get to Tour Builder, and I think this that would be this will be a good point to jump into it, like Tour Builder and Tour Creator. Um, I think def I love Tour Builder, and I think it's gotten a lot easier. I don't know, like I think there's a cutoff, like fifth grade. Um, if you're you're not familiar with Tour Builder, you should be. Um, if Judy is still here, she needs to she needs to also be doing this because she's a wizard at this. Um, 
she taught me, but tour builder, you have two, you have tour builder and tour creator. Um, but I would definitely, um, I would use Voyager for like my younger kids, but I would love to get, um, my map, um, to get kids making some in tour creator. Um, tour builder is like how you build those Voyagers I just showed. Um, you so now you can like build them and do all kinds of things. Um, if you're using, if you've ever used like my maps, and I, I like I, said, I know some people here that have used my maps, um, that's another way to like my maps here, and then Tour Builder is right here as like. Skill level. Um, but um, Tour Creator is, I think, super neat. Um, it's telling me my, my internet's not my thing. Um, can everybody see me? Yeah. Um, so we, we see yet, your screen. Good, good, good. Um, I have yet to make one. This is under my personal account. I've got a bunch um, in my work account because if you make a tour creator can use it using Google Expeditions. You could upload it to Poly, but if you're using uh, using Google Expeditions, you need to know the account you created it under. Like you'll have to log into that account to launch it. So I have most of them on my work email. Um, but so if we want to, I'm going to stick with my Egypt. Um, now I, there are some things I don't love about this um about like you have to upload an image here it won't let me move so if i don't have an image saved um this is just three but if i don't have an image saved there it won't let me and i really don't like that very much but it's okay so once i start here with and you can see it's connecting to poly so um, when you create it here, it's going to link all of those things together. Um, so you'll have a direct link. Um, you can upload images. So say I want to, um, you can type in an exact latitude and longitude here. But if I want to add the pyramids of Giza, um, it'll take me to that street view. I can even drag a person there um, and add that scene. Um, So I have Egypt. I want to go to the pyramid complex. It's going to put me right there with the millions of people that are also there. Um, these are Google, like, you know, like the little van that drives around with the camera. So sometimes it is really funny because like they're going to have the people that were there in the pictures. I would definitely look at this, you know, if you could. Um, so once I've picked my place, though, it's really easy. Um, to add it. Um, I can also, if you're making 360 videos, um, something to try while we're at home, um, you can do it that way. You can, uh, you can upload it. So like the one of Tiger Stadium, um, is on uh, game day. So if I wanna look up like the LSU quad, like right here on this one, um, this one makes me laugh because it is most definitely in the middle of game day. Um, so definitely if you wanna look into that, um, this is you know, outside of the parking thing. So this is really cool to build out. Like I have a lot of questions about um, building um, out like, you know, college visits. Now I'm gonna zoom out a little because my button I need right here is called add scene. And so now I can add that scene.
पानी पानी ओके इट अपीयर्स एज इफ शी मे हैव बीन डिस्कनेक्टेड आई डिड सी दैट हर कंप्यूटर वाज uh going dead uh it was getting low on battery but looks like she was having some connection issues uh can everyone hear me if you can type something in the chat um cuz she went away from a moment yes great awesome i can hear okay awesome thank you so much it looks as if we oh looks as if we lost bonnie and it was such good information there um we will uh i'll wait for just another moment to see if she's able to reconnect because she was right in the middle of tour builder there um okay so she was right in the middle of tour builder and Uh, I was actually learning a few things because I'm not as well versed in virtual field trips and uh the uh Google Treks and uh I have heard of the uh tool builder and tool creator and things of that nature but I have actually never uh sat in on a session to actually see one be created so this was actually a learning experience for me as well so hopefully she'll jump back on to finish her set but while uh we are waiting for her uh to jump back on um i will uh just tell you about the the session that is coming up next week yes we are still here There she is and she's coming back. There she is, she's coming back. Hold on, I think we will have her back here in just a moment. I just let her back into the room. Bonnie. Bonnie, Hi. are you there? I am here. Sorry. Awesome. What's that? Um my power turned off. Um so yeah. my brother shut down. <laughs> Look, I I I just told everyone on the call uh, I I thought that uh when I looked at your battery there it was about 10%. I said, "Okay, well I think she's got enough to go." <laughs> no, my battery is fine. Yeah. yeah. This computer like it says 10%, but it means like 3 hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh you were in the middle I'm of ready. tool build. I'm going to uh toss right. it back over to you, okay? Here All you right. go. You should have the controls now. All right. I'm back. So sorry. So, um there's my snap camera. If you are interested in the snap camera, you should get it. You should download it um for all of your virtual meeting needs. Um so, back to Tor Creator. Um it's super neat. Like I said, um as like an assessment tool. Um so my draft here um i'm going to go back in and it 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 saves my progress so if your power turns off very quickly and your router goes off um then you can um it'll it'll stop there like everything google you know it saves it for you um so i got my egypt i just want to add scene um and like we were looking up uh giza um so i want to go to the pyramid complex i'm going to add this scene um it didn't like when i went to tell you so i'm not messing with that anymore but even embedded in this so say you took a trip to egypt you can add your picture here by adding a point of interest so if i want to like cuz if you're taking a college tour and i'm building one of lsu i could put you could put your graduation picture or something fun right here you can even 
uh, narrate it, which would be super fun for kids too, to hear your voice. I know it's nerve wracking and I know my accent's weird, but um, this is just, and all I have to do is keep hitting that add scene button and, um, and go from there. It's, uh, so this is the Grand Pyramid and I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna build a whole one right here, but um, this is a very, very easy way. And I mean, I feel like that's a type of assessment if they can create a whole tour. It's gotten a lot easier. Um, I know some people who are even like, like taking those 360 videos um, and building them out um, to share like as their side job. Like they go to uh, different apartments, take those 360 videos and that's their, their side job. So just gonna take a break for a second um, and see if anybody has any questions. Comments. I don't see any in the chat currently. Okay. Um, that is great. So one of the last thing to talk about and it's probably the easiest is 360 video. If you teachers are using Ed Puzzle, you can um, embed 360 video, like you can embed questions, uh, which I think is super cool um, to like have them look at this stuff, but also, um, and th these are really easy. If you go to YouTube um, and you can, like I said, you can do this with Edpuzzle. I've done it like with, hey, do you see this image or um, what are, you know, what you're looking for? it knows what I'm, it knows me already, like um, all this different stuff, how to make souffle and, and Disney. But if you type in like Discovery 360, they've made videos for you already about all this stuff. Um, so almost anything you can think of, um, you can find on here. And these 360 videos are really simple to send out. Um, you can move it around, um, you can, you know, and like I said, you can embed a question um, about this or whatever you're working on. Um, and people have clearly taken the time. National Geographic has done a lot of cool stuff with this. Um, they're probably um, like pandas. A canning of a curriculum that includes pandas, but I feel like this will be a fun thing to include. Um, so you can, like I said, add that assessment piece, add, um, add some questions in the Ed Puzzle, um, add it as part of, you know, another thing, um, add it to a Google form very easily. If you embed this, it's still be interactive. So like some, um, some teachers here have also used my maps um, and I'm, I don't want to talk too long so we can talk about my maps another day, but you can embed this kind of stuff into my maps. Um, so, because I've worked with a lot of like curriculum departments and stuff. And one thing that they've always um, fussed at me for was like, I'll, I'll have a virtual field trip to the Louvre, but it won't like, I didn't, I wasn't good with that assessment piece. So I think we found, because I didn't want to just do a multiple choice question for it. Um, I think, um, and this is linked to my, uh, on the slide deck. Um, this is just years of digital hoarding on my part. Um, I've got tons of templates here that you can use with those virtual field trips, like as an assessment piece. So um, this is just a slide deck. And I know a lot of us, you're, you're having them make presentations anyway. So, you know, maybe change the format a little. And now they're writing a magazine. Um, I, I'm not, and I only put this box here because I get like a million emails for um, requests for access. Just make your own copy. It's fine. Um, but if these templates have it set up where um, very quickly kids can like really polished looking um, work just by changing out the text in um, the images. So it's got lots of little logos on it. Um, and I've got tons of these. Like I said, I just, I had to keep them all in one place. Um, I've got some information about VR tour creator like that you can give out to students. I've got some stuff on my maps that um, you can distribute as your student instructions. Um, and these, like I said, you could, you can, you could join all this together. Um, you can make like a virtual field trip um, to all the Harry Potter locations. 
Um, this is something that's even in the high school. I added this to the curriculum because I thought it was funny. Um, in the state curriculum, it had like they had to make trading cards. Um, so we, ch I changed it to this. And uh, it really was, it turned out very funny. Um, but so they would change the images and like say their skills or their biography. And, and on that note too, I have a whole folder of um, social media templates. Um, so like you could use like these Instagram templates. I, I just did a thing on them called it semi-social media. So like you could have them do, um, if anybody saw Justin Trudeau talking today, it was great. Um, so if anybody, like you could even give them the image, um, you know, here and like after they've done the, the virtual field trip on it, they could edit like who posted it, who made, who made a comment, where are they located, um, and just like get them to focus on the details, like rather than just say, hey, make a, make a slide deck um, and they have like five vague facts you can give them a template for how to add those details and like really get their creativity going. Um, this is all linked on my slide deck. Um, I try to clean this up, but when I come, when I, when I see something, I generally add it here. Um, I know like if Laura is here, um, she's used it a lot and I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, but feel free to use this, like I said, to, to complete that, that virtual field trip experience in your class. So, you know, cause sometimes I feel like kids will just get to devices and just click, um, this way, you know, um, they're like, they're absorbing the information and cause they're, if they have the ability to turn out a product with that information, but with their own, their own spin on it. Uh, well, I'm glad everybody likes me. Uh, that template is every, yeah. Um, Allie does use the templates um, and they are, they are good. Um, tour Builder, I'm not gonna get, like I said, you have Tour Creator. Tour Creator, super friendly. Tour Creator is definitely easy, easy, easy. It's gotten so easy. Tour Builder is like next level. Um, now, that being said, we've all got a little extra time. Um, right now so if you want to play with it if you want to you know make a tour um of all the places you want to go on vacation once we get to leave our house um you can do that but this is gonna like this is really you get lots of you get to add a lot of detail here so you can like embed your own photos so like if, if i want to talk about jamestown i can add a photo right here i can put a little person um I can zoom in wherever I want and add a little person like by the bay or this is why it was so hard to live here. Um, all those kinds of things. I'm sorry, my titles don't match. I'm, I'm skipping all around. Um, this one is a little less uh, user friendly. It's easy it, once you really start playing with it, but um, it, maybe it's, it's its own PD because it's not, uh, I like, I haven't made a big one yet. I've just played with it, but yeah, I might make one of all the places I'm, I'm gonna go when I leave here. Um, one day when we get to leave our house. Um, and they have really, this is getting a lot better, Google for education. I don't know if anybody looked at, um, they've really turned out some really good stuff. Um, it, it just keeps getting better, like all the tools they're releasing and stuff like that. But there's a gallery here. And so, because I wish they would have a different name. Like I wish it would be Tour Builder and Tour Creator. But um, I'm going to suggest that to them. But uh, yeah, so definitely take a look at it, play with it. I think you can get t kids to create using Tour Creator. Um, but maybe like in you know, definitely secondary kids, you could get them using Tour Builder. All right. I think I have used up my 30 minutes for sure. Bonnie, so, there was yes. another quick question that came in asking, mm -hmm. can you link parts of Google Arts and Culture into Tour Builder? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, yeah, you might have to like, if you're building Tour Builder or Tour Creator, you might have to download the image you're looking for and put the link to like the, um, the gallery. But yeah, you can embed all this stuff works. Yeah, that, and that's a great idea. You could take it, you can add it and take it a step. Um, like some of the expeditions even have um, like videos built in. 
So yeah, if you want to take them to a place and then, I mean, in all reality, you could like build out these tour creators and have virtual field trips in every place. I don't know. I feel like the kids would get like so busy into the clicking, you know, you might want to like have them in one place and stop, but really you could build out, like you could build out a whole unit based in, you know, each place where you're going next um, and then have your resources all built in that same place. Um, I want to see it when you do that too, because that would be, that would be epic. Um, but yeah, I know I'm going over my 30 minutes for sure. I could talk about this stuff for a long time. Um, it's quite okay. If you have something else that you want to share, feel free. Uh, no, I mean, like, chat. um, I like my maps. Um, if you haven't used my maps, um, it's, it's really interesting. Um, I'm going to show you an example. Um, and if you ever need any of this stuff, this is my, web, well, just my website where I keep all the resources I'm giving out. Um, it's bit.ly slash bchalette. But, um, and I just link everything here. Um, but I do have, and I've got information about all this stuff and stuff um, we've been doing. Um, if for the state curriculum, um, if you go to my site, like Anna and Nikki and stuff, um, and Amanda, I've got it broken down by six through eight and nine through 12, like, um, the VR that goes with each unit, but this is just social studies. I was on that committee. Um, maybe some of the science people, the math people could do this next year, but, um, yeah, so I've linked a lot of these and kind of broken it down by unit, um, like, but not AP. So this high school stuff would all, it would not apply to AP. But if you wanted to take this and share it with your teachers, by all means, take it. It's, it's great. Um, so I've got a tab here on Google My Maps. I don't have as many tutorials as I'd like um, because I'm, I'm building that out. And maybe that's what I talk about. In, but My Maps might be um, an easier way for you to um, like, if you're going to embed more information or um, I've got a little, I take that back. I've got a little thing here, but um, we made these to go with some of the curriculum um, where you could go in. I know the sixth grade ones are good um, with the different units and like fly down. And I mean, you could have as big or as little of a space as you like, and you can add layers. And if you like Google, there's a really good one about Louisiana, uh, the Louisiana purchase. Um, so you can have all, have all this information and embed it and see right here. Oh, so I picked this one. Um, it's got an exhibit on, uh, from Google Arts and Culture. Cause this person's in my, has heard me say how we need to use it more. Um, so yeah, definitely look at my maps too. Cause um, it can really give you like a visual of, of where you're sending kids. Um, and like, and now you can do it in 3D, just make sure you have your, your good router on that day. Um, but my maps is super cool to that. And that's my last one I'm talking about, I swear. But um, you're welcome to refer back to this. I wanna put more here. I really just keep this here to make sure like when I give out stuff, um, here is, um, and Allie, uh, Miss Rhodes is here, she should put her, her website in the chat. She's a wizard at this stuff. But um, this teacher who was very nervous about this um, built out, um, like this is her class calendar and everything, but built out like each unit using um, the, the a set, using the templates that um, I, from my folder. So like each unit, the kids knew. But she um she made a, ma a map of like the whole unit, and so the kids um could zoom in and access it. And this is her website, and I, I really like it. She also has some three D stuff added from uh, Street View. But these are really really great. And if you find one, like if a a friend teacher makes one, um it's really easy to you can just add you can copy it um or it's um. And see, so she's got all her different layers and stuff. She's really good at this. Um, but you can copy these. You can share them 
you can add them to uh, your own folder. There you go. And Ms. Rhodes is great. Um, yeah, Allie's got a really good website too with a ton of stuff. So you definitely look at that. Uh, oh, Judy. Um, so, like I said, I've, took, I've taken up at least 30 minutes of everybody's time. But um, I'll be, I mean, I have my information on the slide deck. I'll share it with you again. Um, access, you know, in any of these places. Um, you can find me on Twitter. I'm on Twitter a lot. Um, I have a lot of Google stuff going on um, on there. Um, you can email me. Um, again, my website. Um, um, a lot of people in here know me really well, so you have my number. But um, let me know. Let's let's do fun stuff. So, if anybody has any questions, um, we'll go ahead and we can uh, close it out, and you can go back to um, all the fun stuff you're doing. And Bonnie, uh -huh. uh, if you could toss yep. it back over to me mm -hmm. and I'll continue to look uh, in the chat and if we have additional. Um, okay, I stopped sharing my screen. Yeah. Okay. Did you toss it back to me to make me a host? Uh, if you just click on my name. Oh, I see. The yeah. more. Yeah, got it. There you go. Awesome. Okay, great. Thank you. And um, still looking. I uh, was trying to uh, take a look in the chat and everything there as well. I got to fix my Zoom settings. All right, so um, Bonnie, look, that was some awesome information. I know I definitely learned a few things. Um, uh, definitely dealing with the treks and um, things like that and a variety of information. So we wanna give Bonnie a virtual round of applause. So I'll do that for you. Thank you so much. Um, we also have, we also have, um, Next week, I did want to highlight our next presenter next week, um, who is Tyler Colson. She will be uh, discussing ways to do STEM at home. And that is the URL to register for that specific uh, training. And I will drop it in the chat right now as well so that you can click and register on it. I do thank all of you as well for uh, attending and this is a Google Education Group Louisiana, uh, Louisiana uh, webinar but it definitely is open to everyone so please uh, reshare it on social media, invite others, uh, so that we can all continue to grow while we are at home during this uh, pandemic. So uh, again, Bonnie, thank you. I do want to put the website for uh, the Louisiana GEG here again. Uh, my contact information is there. Uh, if anyone on the call also wants to participate and share their knowledge with other educators uh, here in Louisiana, um, please feel free to email me or you can go to the website and there is a form on it for you to be able to submit to do uh, a webinar uh, to share your knowledge as well. And we do appreciate all of you. Again, Bonnie, thank you so much. And I no am going to end the Zoom here in just a moment. The recording will be available on the GEG uh, Louisiana website so that uh, people can go back and replay. And after I go back in and kind of uh, just kind of trim out uh, uh, some of the the beginning and the end, then it'll be there on the website. All right. 
Um, so thank you all again, and we'll hopefully see you next week. Until then, stay healthy, everyone. Thanks, everybody.